It's amazing. This is wonderful. I'm oh. just gonna clap for you because you're my favorite too. Stop it all, oh, it's so sweet. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, welcome back and congratulations. This is incredible. This is a huge Thank deal. You. But this is just one of the many faceted diamond that is your life right now. You've got so many things going on, so busy. It's a great busy. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the last week in your life and what you've been up to and uh, what you guys have been uh, cooking up. Well, on October 3rd, yes, October yeah. 3rd, we launched Cakes by Melissa, Woo! which is a cookbook that really just in, that celebrates and inspires creativity. Yeah. I want you to make your own cakes based on what you love to eat and combine all of the different recipes that are in the book. How long have you been working on this book? How long? <laughs> Ballpark figure. Okay, so I've been baking for nine years under okay. the Baked by Melissa name, and I've created hundreds of flavors. The book I wrote in three months. No, get out of here. Really? <laughs> because it was all stuck all in there. here. But I want to tell out. you that I, I, um, one of my dear friends is an unbelievable food photographer. She yeah. had never shot a book before. And the two of us had the time of our lives shooting this book. I mean, there were so many tears of laughter. Can I tell you, that's one of my favorite parts is towards the back, there's a great sort of uh, photo collage of you taking the photos. And it looks like it was an absolute blast to put this thing together. Never mind that you're making all these incredible cakes, but it looks like you genuinely had a lot of fun and a lot of like TLC went into the creation of this book. Like it feels very personal. It was the highlight of my professional career. I've had, I've had so many and I really just appreciate all of the unbelievable experiences that I've had the chance to have with Baked by Melissa. It's amazing. Well, this is a pretty monumental moment, too, for Baked by Melissa, because it, I think up until now, and correct me if I'm wrong, when it came to the tie-dye cake, we've only really seen it in mini form. This is the first time we're getting to see a full, larger-than-life, right? Am I right? Is this, one of the, is this the first official time? It is. It is, guys. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so... Talk to me about that. Did you have to modify anything? Were you already making these at home and we just never got to see them? Or was this a big deal for you guys as well? I bake everything. And, and I love Bite Size because really when I go into a bakery, I want to try every flavor. And I do because it's my job. But now you can too with our Bite Size treats. You could have one of every flavor without the post-dessert guilt trip. Um, I actually created six cupcake flavors to celebrate the launch of Cakes by Melissa. That uses some of my favorite recipes from the book. So if you walk into any Baked by Melissa store, or if you go to bakedbymelissa.com and order the Sweet Dreams, which yeah. is 50 cupcakes, it's our latest and greatest, and it's our dream team, which are these six flavors, you can try a taste of Cakes by Melissa, and that'll give you a <clears throat> chance to really see all the fun stuff that's in the book. One of the things I did love about going through the book is that it's not like... Basically, you give everybody, if you can think of it this way, like cupcake Legos, almost, where you give them all the pieces, and then you can assemble any kind of combination or cake that you like. Here's how to make the vanilla base. Here's how to make a lemon base. Here's how to make this kind of frosting. All these different things. Is that very much how you work, where you just have like a giant like whiteboard of all the combinations, and then you kind of mix them match all together? You're so good. It's my okay. creative process. I take so the book is my what goes on in my head, and yeah. and people are constantly coming up to me and saying, you know, I don't like to bake because it's so hard. It's not. It's so easy. I bake to relax. I just enjoy it so much. And when I'm creating new flavors for Baked by Melissa, I literally just write cake dash, stuffing dash, icing dash, topping dash. And then I just like take all of I just mix and match everything. And that's at the end of the book. There's like, like all the like, holy grail. Yeah, there's over a hundred flavor combinations that I've laid out for you. And then I give you blanks to fill in the cake, stuffing, icing, topping, because it's really important to me that this book inspires you yeah. to get creative. There's definitely that, that feeling is there, because uh, not only do you have that, you also have a page blank just for notes. Just so I just love to write in yeah, books. I thought it was great. <laughs> I want people to write in the book. So that was a part of it from the beginning for you, though. You wanted it to be more than just, like, the creative process and a bit of my story. You wanted it to be almost, it's a tool is what it is. It's for people, an inspirational tool. And I imagine, uh, did you start with the end of the book? Like, we'll start with, here's all the combinations, here's all these things, and now let's reverse engineer it? Or how did, how did it kind of work out? When, when I went to my first meeting at HarperCollins, I said, like, I really just want people to create like I do. So I want to give them blank spaces to put their, their flavors in. Every single cupcake or macaron flavor I've ever created is inspired by someone or a memory I have from my childhood. And 
that's why I bake. I love to bake for people and then give them my creation and then watch them enjoy it. Like maybe it's selfish. I just love it so much. And that's what, that's what I want other people to do too. It's a really delicious form of selfishness. Is that I, I make, maybe I'm selfish. I just make people delicious things for free all the time because I love them. Maybe I'm terrible. It's I don't the know. Best feeling ever to create something for, for sure. someone and watch them enjoy it. Ah. Oh. Well, that I mean, that kind of answers my next question. You know, we had um, Rocco in here just a little bit earlier, Despirito, and we were talking about his book. And I always wonder this when there's a cookbook: if there's a fear of giving away too much, of of telling, uh, as I referred to it earlier, the eleven herbs and spices, if you will, of like the secrets revealed because I feel like you kind of not in a bad way but you let us in like there's so many great secrets finally I mean the tie-dye cake that's that's the the crown jewel if you will and here it is step-by-step -step instructions on how we can make our own uh was that something you struggled with or no it feels like for you it might have been the other way it was like I can't wait to give it away tell me about it I, I really just want to inspire and celebrate yeah. creativity. Nobody could, I mean, I what we do at Baked by Melissa is magic. And it's not just me. It's an amazing team of yeah. people who are like-minded and hardworking and passionate. And that can't be replicated. So I want you to be able to create. I want to inspire people to bake and yeah. enjoy and literally take a fork and just dig into a cake like I do all the time. Yeah. I want to make life sweeter and I hope that I can do that for you in your kitchen. I think there's something, and we were talking about a lot of this backstage, but this was the thing in particular that blew my mind that I think is going to go a long way, uh, was when I read the tiny little passage that said, it was like an asterisk, and I was like, hey, just so you know, any one of these cake batters can be used in a waffle iron to make waffles. Yeah, thank you. Okay, jaws are on the floor. My head exploded. I was like, what? I was like, just add a little bit of extra flour, and there you go. You can make any of these into waffles. One, uh, how did you arrive upon that glorious discovery? And two, I want to get into some maybe combinations that we can talk about, and you can inspire some breakfast-minded treats here. So when did this happen? How long have you been sitting on this secret? One of my favorite things to do is to just like bake random stuff in the office and then give it Best to my job team. Ever. It just it's fun and it like is like a perk yeah. working at Bake by Melissa. So I was recipe testing for like the whole month of December, literally like all day, every day, baking all these different cakes. And then I was having my team like weigh in, like which cornbread cake do you like better, this one or that one? And then they would pick, and that's what the recipe I would put in the book. It was so fun, and everyone's a part of Cakes by Melissa. So I, I like, I didn't like the waffle iron we have in the office. So I ordered a new one and I think it had just come and I was like, you know what? Like, gotta try it. Yeah. And the crazy part is, so I, I just put the vanilla cake recipe in the waffle iron and then like it fell apart a little. So I added more flour and that totally did the trick and it was like thicker. <laughs> and then people were, I'm always the first person in the office cause I love mornings. So people were starting to trickle in. I'm like, who wants waffles? And I didn't tell them it was cake. I just you know, made a stack. Who doesn't want yeah. to see like a, a stack, stack of, waffles. of waffles? So I brought a stack of waffles into our CEO's office. The international symbol for it's going to be a good day. Yeah. And you know what? It's just Everyone a stack ate of it. Waffles. And they were like, holy shit, these are the best waffles I've ever had. And I was like, well, that's because it's cake. But, but, <laughs> but it's such Were a you like sneaking about it too? I was like, this is it's cake. I got you. <laughs> it's a mind fuck a little bit because yeah, it when totally you eat is. It, it's actually. A waffle, and then it just like made me wonder about all of those waffles I ordered from the diner yeah. after college, like every night. That was your go-to, right? Is that go you would have waffle with chocolate ice cream and chocolate syrup on the side. So I'm a, like, everything in this book is near and dear to my heart, and I love it so much. And I won't share or create anything that I don't love. So would that be a particular recommendation? Do uh, vanilla cake batter waffle and then maybe a chocolate icing with that waffle? Or do you do icing with the waffles? Do you go straight syrup? I know the first I time- I do was ice cream with my waffles. And then maple syrup and chocolate syrup and rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> and then you can make like a little waffle ice cream sandwich. That's just the way I do it. Um, you could also drizzle peanut butter. I use peanut butter as icing in the book. Um, yeah. I use jam between the layers, like for my Ita Italian rainbow cookie cake, which is like it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, do you ever? It doesn't sound like it, but have you ever found yourself hitting a wall? Like I've created every flavor combination I can think of. I don't know where to go next. And if so, how do you work through that? <laughs> well, it's funny because sometimes, yeah, it does get challenging. I've created hundreds of different yeah. flavor combinations, but that's like the best part of my job. 
Um, and I have an amazing team. So, like, I actually was talking to our vice president yesterday. I'm like, we need to talk about Q1 because I need you to inspire my creativity. <laughs> and she'll, like, be like, remember when you did that and you said you wanted to that? I'm like, oh, my God, thank you. And then I have, like, ten more flavors. So I think that's the beauty of working with people that you love and yeah. who inspire you. When I'm feeling challenged, I bring somebody in to talk me through it. And the result is only exponentially better than it would have been if I tried to do it myself. Can I tell you something? I only thought of this last night, and I wish I thought of it a lot earlier, where you get three carnival wheels, one for every section of the book. Cake, fillings, crumble, you know what I mean? And you just spin them, and you see where it lands, and then we've got to see, is that a good combination? Because I believe, with the exception of maybe like one or two, uh, almost all of them could be delicious. But there might be like a weird one, like lemon peanut butter or something. I don't feel like that would work. But other, no, no. See, but like a majority of them, it feels like you could throw. I think we should just exclude the lemon yeah. and the mint icing. There you go. Now, this is then, why I need you in on the idea but because I don't. everything else yeah. is like, that's brilliant. Thank I, you. There's something there we need to do. I think that's right, like that. an all day activity. We're going to figure that out. I think so. Soon. That could be really That's fun. our holiday party. It's a bake off. Please, can I come? Please. Yes, you are okay. always invited. Yay. Oh, this is the best. Okay, talk to me a little bit about, uh, these are obviously a special edition of the macaroons here. I love the macaroons, by the way. Uh, what is special about them? Why are they all pink? What do we do here? There are so many special things about yeah. these babies. Let's but for it. the month of October, so October is Breast Cancer Awareness yeah. Month, and it's super important to me that we're always doing things to give back, in, including obviously making people happy through our bite-sized treats. Um, but so for the month of October, I've created a limited edition cotton candy flavored pink macaron. It's, it's insane. And a pink sugar cookie bite sized cupcake. And 10% of all of those sales are being donated to Breast Cancer, Re uh, Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And then for every heart gift box we sell, we donate $5 to BCRF. And uh, we're going to continue doing more things like this because uh, sugar cookie made with my sugar cookie dough recipe, minus the raw egg, of course. Um, but these are like, <laughs> yeah, they I think sound this like is my favorite flavor macaron, actually. Really? Yes. And I wasn't the biggest fan of macarons until oh. I made them. <laughs> Well, isn't that? I gotta say, this, uh, I really enjoyed the, uh, I wanna say snickerdoodle, the cinnamon one. It almost reminded me of like cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah. Yeah, it was so good. It's my Thank favorite. Yeah. That's actually sugar cookie dough with cinnamon in it. Which, uh, with the, like, the key to, like, those recipes are in the book, right? Yeah. Sugar yeah, all that fun oh, stuff. Oh, you can make, oh. yeah, oh, sugar no. cookie dough icing, sugar cookie dough stuffing, sugar cookie dough topping. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> all of that's in there. Uh, there's, Okay, so we're almost out of time. We're going to turn to audience in a second. But you told me something backstage that I didn't even wasn't aware of until then, which is incredible. Which is how uh, you're celebrating World uh, Dessert Day. Is it World? It's World Dessert Day. Yeah. It's national. National. Dessert. National Dessert Day. We'll get to World, but this is National Dessert Day, and you're doing something that's mind blowing. It's <laughs> mind blowing. <laughs> it's it's like I I still don't believe it's happening. But tomorrow, in celebration of National Dessert Day, we're doing a ton of fun things. We're like doing an event at Bloomingdale's, and I'm going to be on CBS, and then I'm doing the Brain Food Conference in Brooklyn, which I can't wait, but... Very cool. All very cool. But However... I'm taking over Instagram's Instagram, which is like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm very goal-oriented, and I made that goal for myself, and I achieved it, and it's un it freaking believable, and it just goes to show you that you can do anything you set your mind to. <laughs> really, if you are persistent, and you work hard, and you stay focused, anything is possible. 100%. This was the exact same attitude and message that you had last year when you were here, and it's always, it's so much fun talking to you, because it's true, you live it, and you're, are, you're living proof that this works. I mean, you're not taking over, like, the Today Show's account. You're not, no, you're taking over Instagram's Instagram. Instagram. That's well, and, and Instagram, you know, inspires me every single day. It's it's yeah. crazy what this platform has done. If I need to think of a new flavor, I can search hashtag s'mores or hashtag mm. cupcakes and see what people are creating all over the freaking world, yeah. you know? Oh, and yeah. and it, it's, it's mind-blowing. And to be a part of that and their mission and to celebrate with them is just... Psh. It escapes me, but I, I, I think I saw a hashtag in the book to encourage people to share their creations, or did I make that up? Maybe I'm just envisioning that. Is there an official, like, I've made something in the bake by, uh, the Cake by Melissa book, and I want to share it? Is there an official hashtag? Hashtag Cakes by Melissa, of course. Of and course. hashtag Baked by Melissa always. We're always doing things. So right now, if you go to any one of our stores in Manhattan, we've done these amazing windows, which is like, so there's like a Dracula without a head, so you stand behind Much it and fun. take a picture, and like gates and crazy 
crazy stuff. We just want to have fun, you know? Like, little things that we can do to make your life sweet and fun, that's what we're all about. Do you ever give any thought to, um, now that that book, well, I mean, maybe not, because the book has just been released, but now that it's out in the wild, and I imagine there's going to be a lot of, like, custom configurations and, like, a lot of fans that come up with stuff, uh, not to belabor the Lego uh, analogy, but they do a thing where if a user creates a really cool design, the community can vote on it, and it becomes, like, an official Lego thing. Do you think if somebody comes up with a cake that you never thought of before, that, like, oh... Maybe we should do like a special this month where this like fan's cake is like the special cake or something. 100%. Like that brings me back to Instagram and yeah. why it's so amazing. Hashtag cakes by Melissa and baked by Melissa on anything you create from the book or just in your kitchen while you're baking. And that's going to inspire us. And then they also just introduced that like thing where you could vote. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, we're having our followers pick our next mini of the month. And there are so many fun things we could do. Like it's unbelievable. Um, we're going to turn it over to the audience, but again, the book, it came out on the 4th, uh, it's out there, it's incredible, guys, it really is, it, it takes away any feeling you might have had if you were intimidated by baking or whatever, this makes it accessible and fun, and, you know, it's not often that we get to sit down with, uh, the, the, the name or the face of the actual, like, Melissa herself is here, and you are genuinely a treat to talk to, and your treats are genuinely delicious. Thank you so much for being here. Let's take some questions from the audience. I'm going to crack one of these open. If it's a really good question, I just might walk it over to you. So go ahead. Uh, first question is going to come from Hi. over here. There we are. Um, so you have your cupcakes, and then you came out with the macarons. Um, are there any other like desserts that you would like to make into mini? Oh my God, there are so many. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And I'm going to continue to create new flavors of our existing product and maybe new product lines. The possibilities are really endless. That's a great question. These are coming. Don't worry. Don't panic. Uh, next question is going to come from right here in the front. I'm going to walk this over while you Hi, go ahead and ask. How are you? Um, I was wondering um, if you were a cupcake flavor, what would you be and why? That's an awesome question. My favorite flavor is our peanut butter and jelly flavor because it's just like my favorite thing to eat. And I made it into a cupcake. If I was a flavor, oh man, it would have cookie dough, it would have chocolate, it would have regular cookie, maybe double cookie. Double cookie is yeah. one of my favorite ones because it's like stuffed with cookie dough, iced with cookies and cream, and then topped with an Oreo and cookie dough. Oh, That's <laughs> intense. Yeah, with rainbow sprinkles. If it was Naturally. me, I would add rainbow sprinkles. It has to, to it. have rainbow sprinkles. Uh, okay, I think we're uh, only time for one more question. Uh, it's going to be right here. Hi there. Uh, what do you think is the most essential ingredient when it comes to baking? Like, really or like metaphorically? <laughs> Either way. I think there are some key ingredients that are super important, like flour and sugar and butter, and I love uh, salt and everything. Um, but really, it's just happiness. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Baking is supposed to make you happy. You're supposed to do it when you're feeling like you want to chill and do something, like, fun. And I kind of think, and I mean this, anybody else that said that, I would have called bullshit on it. But you live and breathe this. You really do. And it's, uh, there's an authenticity. Uh, when the cameras weren't rolling, when I walked into the green room, you're just in a good mood, which, you know, people don't realize it's hard to be when you're doing a million of these things. You're running around. You're stressed. There's this. There's that. But you have just, you're very positive. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that's legit. Okay, happiness. We have to be happy, people. If we're gonna if we're gonna do this, we've got to be happy. A positive <laughs> attitude yeah. in life. Like I'm not saying I have it figured out because I don't, but like a positive attitude and outlook on life makes a huge difference. Well, you are running Instagram's Instagram tomorrow, so it's <laughs> crazy. I don't um, believe it yet. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, that's really exciting. This, uh, so many delicious things, uh, guys. Don't worry. I know you've all done the math. There's plenty. We're gonna have one after we just eat the cotton candy off. macaron. It's, it's gonna, for a good crack cause, them open. and they're delicious. Um, but again, Cakes by Melissa. Life is what you bake it. It's out there right now. Uh, I cannot highly recommend it enough. It is such a great, fun book. And it's a fun thing to do. It's the weekend. It's fall. There's no reason not to get this out and make some delicious treats. And make a mess. Make a mess. Make a waffle. Make a mess. Make a get, waffle. like, batter on the counter. Oh, it sounds like a great time. Guys, please join me one more time in thanking Melissa for being here. Come on, Melissa Beneshai.